Unit 3 Diversity and Adaptation in Living Organisms Lesson 1 Living Organisms Diversity and the Principles of Their Classification Diversity of Animals This is due to the difference between animals in the shape, the way of feeding, the size. Diversity of animals. Animals according to the size may be big animals such as elephant and rhinoceros, small animals such as rabbit, rat and lizard. The environment where these animals live. Animals live in water such as fish, crocodiles and hippopotami. Animals live on land, such as horse, lion, and dog. Diversity of plants. This is due to the difference between plants in the size, the size of the leaves. Plants according to the size may be huge trees, such as camphor and palm trees. Short weeds such as clover and gargir. The size of the leaves. Plants carry large sized leaves such as banana plant. Plants carry small sized leaves such as molokhaya plant. Diversity of microorganisms. As you can see, microorganisms. They are living organisms that can't be seen by the naked eye, but they spread everywhere around us in air, water, and soil. Most of them are unicellular organisms, such as amoeba. As you can see from this video, this is the image of amoeba and the microscope. It is formed of only one cell. Also, Avelina, and finally, Paramecia. They are all unicellular organisms that can be seen only by using microscope. Microorganisms differ from each other in shape and in the way of movement. Classification of living organisms. Plants can be classified according to Number one, the external shape. Number two, way of reproduction. Classification of plants according to the external shape. Some plants can't be distinguished into roots, stems, and leaves, such as algae, which are green, red, and brown algae, while most of other plants are distinguished into roots, stems, and leaves such as maize or corn, wheat, palms, and comfort plants. The second classification is the classification of plants according to their way of reproduction. Plants reproduce by the formation of spores, ferns, Plants reproduce by the formation of seeds. First, plants reproduce by the formation of spores, ferns. Ferns are small terrestrial plants, such as Fugir and Adiantum. They reproduce by the formation of spores. While other plants reproduce by the formation of seeds. They are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms, which are called flowering plants. Plants reproduce by the formation of seeds, gymnosperms. Their seeds are formed inside cones and not inside a precorp fruit envelope, such as pine and secus plants. 
angiosperms or flowering plants. Their seeds are formed inside a precorp. They are divided into monocotyledon plants and dicotyledon plants. Monocotyledon plants such as maize and wheat plants. As you can see, their seeds are monocotyledon. While dicotyledon plants such as bean and pea plants, their seeds are dicotyledon. They can split into two halves. They can split into two halves. Summary for classification of plants. Plants are produced by the formation of spores, ferns, and plants which are produced by the formation of seeds, which are divided into gymnosperms and angiosperms, or flowering plants. Ferns, they are small terrestrial plants, such as Vogir and Adiantum. Gymnosperms, their seeds are formed inside cones and not inside a precarb or fruit envelope, such as pine and secus plants, while angiosperms, their seeds are formed inside a precarb and they are divided into monocotyledon plants and dicotyledon plants. Monocotyledon plants such as maize and wheat plants while dicotyledon such as bean and pea plants. Classification of animals. Animals can be classified according to the nature of body supporting into soft bodies and supported bodies. Soft bodies, the body doesn't have any support, such as jellyfish, octopus, and worms. Supported bodies, they are divided into Animals have an external support and animals with an internal support. Animals have an external support such as mussels, snails, and the crustacean, like shrimp. Animals with an internal support such as vertebrates, such as fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals. They have internal support. They are called vertebrates. Classification of arthropods. What's meant by arthropods? They are invertebrate animals that are characterized by the presence of jointed legs. They are classified according to the number of legs into insects, arachnids, Myropods. First, insects. Insects, they are arthropods that have three pairs of jointed legs, such as ants, locusts, bees, flies, and cockroaches. Arachnids, they are arthropods that have four pairs of legs such as spiders and scorpions. Myropods, they are arthropods that have numerous legs, such as Scolopendra and Julius. Classifications of mammals. Mammals can be classified according to the kind and the number of teeth. Mammals are classified into Edentates or teethless mammals and mammals having teeth. Let's start with edentates or teethless mammals such as sloth and armadillo. They don't have teeth. Animals have front teeth extended outwards to capture insects. Animals have pointed cannons. A molar with sharp projections. 
Animals have sharp incisors. Animals have sharp incisors. First, animals have front teeth extending outwards to capture insects. Hedgehog. As you can see, its front teeth is extended outward to capture insects. The second category, animals have pointed cannons and molar with sharp projections such as lion, tigers and or carnivorous animals. The final category is animals have sharp incisors. They are divided according to the number of incisors in each jaw into rodents and legomorphous. Rodents. They have one pair of incisors in each jaw such as rat, gerbo and squirrel. Legomorphous. They have two pairs of incisors in the upper jaw and one pair in the lower jaw, such as rabbit. Let's summarize the classification of mammals. Mammals are classified into edentates or teethless mammals and mammals having teeth. Edentates such as sloth and armadillo. Mammals having teeth are divided into Animals have front teeth extending outwards to capture insects and animals have pointed cannons and molar with sharp projections and finally animals have sharp incisors. Animals that have front teeth extending outwards to capture insects such as hedgehog. Animals have pointed cannons and molars with sharp projections such as lion, tiger, and or carnivorous, such as lion, tiger, and all carnivorous. Animals have sharp incisors. They are divided according to the number of incisors in each jaw into rodents and legomorphous. Rodents, they have one pair of incisors in each jaw. Legomorphous, they have two pairs of incisors in the upper jaw and one pair in the lower jaw. Rodents such as rat, gerbo, and squirrel. Legomorphous such as rabbit. Taxonomy. What's meant by taxonomy? It is a branch of biology that searches for the similarities and the differences among living organisms and it places the similar ones in groups according to a certain system in order to ease their study. Species It is a group of more similar living organisms in shape that can reproduce to give birth of new fertile individuals which are able to reproduce and keeping the existence of the species. Mating can take place among any couple of the same species. An intercourse may happen between some of the coupled species, but the produced offspring is sterile or barren. Example, the intercourse between a zebra and a donkey produces a sterile female called zonkey. This is the end of lesson 1. Thanks for watching.